Jack here with another survival podcast video. Um, I wanted to go over this little project I did with you. It's real super simple, be a quick video, no big explanations. But basically what I've built here is a very low cost plant light for starting seeds. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's one of the large um, Sterilite containers. And you can see that um, I'm using all thread in this. And I'll zoom in a little bit here. All thread and fender washers on the top. And then the all thread allows me to adjust the height simply by uh, adjusting the nuts that fit on the all thread. I mean, all in all, with the, the washers, the uh, all thread, and the nuts, you're talking a few dollars uh, from Home Depot to buy this stuff. I bought pre-cut 12-inch all thread. You could buy longer all thread. It would probably cost a little bit less. And then right there, I added a little uh, simple power strip. This was like about $3 uh, at a... Uh, it was either at Staples or maybe I picked it up at Home Depot, I'm not sure. But I mean, you can get these things anywhere. And I just used uh, tie wraps to attach that with a couple holes drilled in the box. And uh, you can see that I have three plugs there. I'll pause the camera for a second and I'll show you how those plugs work, what they run to, and the way the rest of this thing is put together. So what I've done is I've flipped the lid around. I kind of propped it up on an angle so you could get a better look at things. What you'll see there are three standard fluorescent lights. Uh, these come from, uh, well they're not standard fluorescent lights, they're full UV spectrum lights. They come from Walmart, but they only cost about $9 a piece. So that's, the, the, the all the money in this thing is really in the lights itself. I got them at Walmart. I actually got them on sale for $7.99 uh, at the end of last year when they were on clearance, when I guess they figured nobody wanted fluorescent lights in the winter for gardening, which is exactly when you would want them. You'll also notice there are two pieces of plywood. I'll kind of zoom down for you. To show you how that works. There's two pieces of plywood and then you'll see fender washers and there's actually two nuts instead of one uh, right on each one. Two nuts actually will keep the nuts from coming loose on their own. I'll pan over here for you. See I have that piece of plywood and it's painted white and it's cut in half. And why not just one piece of plywood? I was using scrap for this and I didn't have a piece of plywood big enough to go across all the way uh, so I cut one in half. But one piece would have been fine. Why plywood at all? Why not just bolt it to the lid? Well, the Sterilite lid isn't very strong. So the plywood is simply to reinforce the parts that are actually holding and supporting the weight. And then, of course, you see the three cords come down. Now, what this allows me to do is start my seeds early indoors. And even now, when it's rather nice outside as I'm starting seeds, they'll germinate faster in a controlled temperature environment. So there you go. It's pretty easy to do. Again, they can be adjusted just by uh, wheeling the, uh, the nuts up and down a little bit. And uh, I suggest you try it yourself. And there's a million variations you could do with this. This is the largest uh, shallow Sterilite bin they had. This could be done with a bookshelf. It could be done with anything. But using the all thread and the nuts makes the height adjustments very easy to do. And what I like about the Sterilite is since it's waterproof, I can water from the bottom. Meaning once all my seeds are in there, I don't have to disturb anything. I can just put a little water bottle in from the side and put about a quarter inch of water in the bottom. And whenever the plants begin to dry out, simply add more water to the bottom. So give it a shot. I think you'll like it. This has been Jack Spierko with another Survival Podcast video.